what is up guys it is Mercifies here bringing you another job tutorial today uh, today's lesson is lesson number nine I believe and uh, today's lesson is for loops we're gonna be going over for loops and switch statements in Java let's get started so for loops are basically used to repeat code in Java and switch statements are used to determine different kinds of uh, uh, what's the word different possible executions kind of like an if else statement but it's more along the lines of uses integers to select different cases you'll see when I explain it further so I'm gonna create a new class today file new class we're gonna call it for switch and we're not in a source folder let's do it in here for switch finish alright so first off we're gonna do the for loop the for loop is going to allow us to repeat the code and it has a couple different uh, parameters to creating a for loop so first of all just type in for your first parenthesis Eclipse is gonna finish the second parenthesis for me I'm just gonna open my brackets here now you have three different sets of uh, parameters I guess you could say the first one you have to declare an integer so we're going to we're going to declare integer i so in i equals we're gonna start at one okay semicolon the next thing we're gonna do is what do we want int i to count to so how many times do we want it to repeat well I want i for one to count to the number 10 so I is less than or equal to 10 semicolon and then we're going to the last parameter is used to update the uh, the amount that you're updating each time the increment that you're going by so we could go by one which is I plus plus we could do I plus equals two which would go one three five seven nine etc cetera, etc cetera. we're just gonna go with I plus plus for now now that we've done that we're gonna do a system out print line and uh, I'm actually just gonna make this a print statement so we can get everything on the same line and we're just going to print out an asterisk asterisk man I could never say that word I'm sorry guys uh, compile it and watch it print out look at that prints it out ten times now for loops can get kind of in-depth you can do kind of uh, inception <laughs> yeah, I think of it as an inception uh, you can have a for loop and a for loop and a for loop which can make you many different things so we're gonna we're gonna do another for loop here for int now the thing you have to realize is if you have a for loop inside of a for loop you cannot repeat this first integer so I can't call it int i equals blah 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 it has to be int x int j int whatever cannot be the same integer if I'm outside of that for loop like right here I could create another for loop that's int i but because we're inside we cannot do that so I'm gonna go int j equals equals uh, one j uh, k j is less than or equal to three and j is also going to increase okay so we're gonna do a system out print and we're gonna do the same thing with the asterisks and then after this first this uh, inner for loop we're going to hit enter and do a system out print line so it enters a new line after this for loop is enabled so what's gonna happen is it's going to print out this asterisk three times because of this first for loop it's gonna do a uh, hit a new line and then this for loop is going to cause it to create ten lines down so let's watch and see as you can see three stars across ten down you can do uh, increasing in certain increments you can do a different way where uh, the stars increase each line so it's kind of the same concept but instead J is less than or equal to I 
Now what this will allow is for it to increase by one each time it goes down. You can do a lot of cool different things with for loops. Uh, they're pretty awesome. But this is the basic way of how to create a for loop and how to work with it, uh, et cetera, et cetera. You can't go down an increment. Um, you can do those different kinds of things. That's a for loop. Now on to the switch statement. A switch statement is kind of like if else, as I said before, uh, but it's a little bit different. It 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 just works different than the if else statement does. It doesn't compare it as a boolean. It just gets told something in the parameters and does it. So uh, I'm gonna use I'm gonna import Java util import Java dot util dot asterisk and uh, create a new static scanner key equals new scanner system dot in and we're gonna have the user input uh, we're gonna make a new line key equals um, no, no, int, hmm, int a, yeah, let's go with int a, int a equals key dot next int, uh, the one thing you do have to realize with, uh, switch statements is that they only work with byte, with byte, short, char, and int data types, uh, you can't use doubles, you can't use strings, uh, you can only use those data types, so we're going to use an integer here, and start it off switch your parentheses now inside the parentheses we're gonna put a which is whatever the user types as an integer and then we're going to do open bracket and then inside of here we're going to put our cases now cases are the different paths that it can take the paths will depend on uh, what the cases are called so we're gonna use integers for the cases so whatever this user types in as an integer, it's going to go to that case and display a different message. So case one, uh, system out print line, you typed in one. And then we're gonna break that. Yeah, it's probably more. Uh, it's probably uh, indent when you do the coding. You should enter a new line so you can indent, just so it's easier for other people to read your code. Uh, just get into the habit. So if you do go into the career of coding, that it's just a uh, common courtesy. Some for some, so people can easily read it. Uh, case two, we're gonna do the same thing. System out print line. You typed in two. And then we can uh, we can make a default case. Which basically, if these cases aren't called upon, it'll go to the default case. And uh, make sure you have breaks at the end of your case statements. It's kind of like, uh, it allows the loop to, it allows for you to get out of outside of the loop so it's gonna keep looking for a case if it doesn't find it it's gonna keep looking and the brakes allow you to get outside of the switch statement but anyway so let's start it up compile it okay now we have to type in something we're gonna type in two you typed in two we could type in one get the different result or we could type in nothing and get uh, the default switch statement. That's for loops and switch statements. See you guys.